Hello everyone and welcome to the Cactus of August. Today I thought I would talk to you about a few tips on doing commissions. Now I am a bit of a noob because it has been seven years since I last did commissions and even then I kind of had them off and on because commissions were never a way for me to get a bulk of my money so I suppose I only did them if I wanted some extra cash and also which is something I'll talk about, I didn't have a lot of confidence in my art back then, so I didn't want to do them unless I really wanted to because I just didn't think I was deserving of selling my art. So let's talk about a few tips on doing commissions and even though I don't know what I'm doing, maybe you'll learn a couple of things. First, I wanted to talk about a few tips on starting your commissions before I did tips on doing your commissions. I think the number one biggest tip I have for you when doing commissions is to have confidence in your work. This is something I had trouble with when I was doing commissions seven years ago, and I think it's something that I have struggled with through my whole art life until, honestly, maybe in the past one or two years have I not really had full confidence in my art. I mean, I've always liked my art, but I've never been confident enough to be like, yeah, give me money. Yeah, you want commission? Come and get it! In the back of my mind, I was always just super worried that people wouldn't want to pay anything, and even then, no matter what I drew, it wasn't going to be good enough. Despite me being okay with my art, it was just too much pressure, which I think a lot of artists struggle with when it comes to doing commissions. And that might be the number one reason why artists don't do commissions. Once you have the confidence in your art, keep these two things in mind when creating a commission. Create something that you think looks good. This is no different than when you're creating a piece just for fun. The only difference is that someone paid you and you're drawing what they want. You're just creating art like any other day. And number two, they came for you. They like your style. So just do what you do and everything will be fine. You might worry that they will like it, and I still kind of worry about that, but in the end, I look at my sketches and I'm like, yeah, these look like good drawings, and that person's gonna like it because they came for me for what I do. So you just need to keep that in mind. At this point, I don't know if I have the confidence or I'm just overly cocky. Either way, it works. In fact, I think my prompt drawings have helped me get through this particular problem. I just look at a commission as just another prompt to get through, just another challenge. These prompts have really helped me prepare in drawing things that I don't normally draw or forcing myself to draw things on the spot and I think it's been really good for my growth and I highly recommend it. Now I'm obviously not saying you shouldn't do commissions if you don't have confidence in your work. If you need the money and you just have to do commissions, go for it. Obviously anything I say here uh, is just my opinion, I suppose. So this is just stuff that works for me. If you have the confidence and you're like five years old, you do those commissions. But I'm a big baby and yeah. So let's talk about commissions. I think there are three main things that you need to decide before you start offering commissions. The first is what you are offering. The second is pricing. And the third is how you're going to conduct payment. When deciding on what you're going to offer for commissions, you just have to ask yourself, what kind of variety do I want to offer? Do I want to have a range of prices so that people have multiple things they can choose from? Do I want to make sure that people can afford things? Or do I just want to do full illustrations and if you can't afford it, too bad? Which is kind of what I'm in. A lot of people like to offer sketch commissions, but my sketches are just so messy that I don't really feel like I want to offer that as something. I do offer color illustrations, full color illustrations, and I do offer line only. But as far as that goes, that's kind of it for me. I have two different prices, one for like human and more complicated characters, and then one for like pets and simple characters like that. So that's just something I have to discuss with the person commissioning me. I also do busts, which again come in color or line only, and if you want an icon, I offer that. Now, I'm not putting the prices on screen or I'm not saying the prices because this is something that I'll probably end up changing because this is kind of like a trial for me. Like I said, I haven't offered commissions in seven years, so this is just kind of a learning experience for me until I get into the groove of it. 
You also have to decide what you won't draw. I'm talking things like blood, gore, and sex. Uh-oh, uh I said a bad word. Moving on. The second thing you need to decide is prices, which is the hardest thing to decide on. There's two things to take into consideration, time and materials. You want to at least make sure that you're making minimum wage with your commissions because you don't want to work for under the hourly rate because that's kind of ridiculous. You're being paid for your time and effort and you need to be paid for doing so. You also want to take into consideration materials. Same goes for shipping if you're doing a traditional piece instead of digital. Just make sure that you calculate all of these things ahead of time and that you aren't surprising your poor commissioner on some crazy fees that they didn't know about to begin with because that's kind of rude on your part and you need to make sure that they know what they're getting into. And the third and final main thing you need to consider when doing commissions is how you are going to charge your commissioner. Commissionee? Uh-oh. Client. I'll say client. Personally, I like to do the old half and half payment. I charge them half, I give them a sketch, and once they have approved it, they pay me the remainder 50% and I give them the final product. Congratulations, I have just been commissioned. Of course, the process that worked for you might be different, but this is personally what has been working for me for the past one and a half commissions. <laughs> Yes, I haven't been doing commissions long recently, but so far I think I have a nice little process in organization. I would highly recommend keeping all of your commission paperwork either in a notebook or preferably digitally. Personally, I like to use this cute little moleskin planner because I need to keep my life nice and organized. I think it's really nice to have your commission prices, your process, and in the back, have a list of all your commissions that you're currently working on with the process and everything down. And I think that has really been working for me and keeping me organized and having everything just at a quick little glance. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to support an artist you like, but you're broke and you can't commission them, don't tell them you're broke. It just puts them in an awkward position and it doesn't really help anybody. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, right? Instead, tell them I would love to commission you, but I can't, so I'm going to help support you and spread the word by retweeting the tweet or just spreading the word about their art. That's the best thing you can do instead of telling them, hi, I'm poor. Okay, bye. Whew. Okay, I think I talked too much. I hope this was a little helpful for you. If you want a commission from me, feel free to email me at caseythegolden at gmail.com. And I cannot wait to have a horror story video for you guys about my commissions. So far, everyone has been very nice, but I hear there's some crazy people out there. Hmm, should I have talked about this piece? It's a cute August cactus and there's seagulls on it and they pooped. And there's a cute little crab. Was that enough information? Alright guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!